Hello YouTubers, today what I've got in store for you is a shoulder opening video. This is for all my calisthenics people, even my yogis, my crossfitters, anyone with general titus up here. I know that in fitness we tend to overwork certain muscles and they get really stiff. So a lot of you have messaged me and commented on my post saying that shoulder opening is something you want to see. So please like and share this. If you have any more comments of something you want to see, leave it down, subscribe and just watch this space. Oh, for this video, you're going to need two blocks. If you don't have two blocks, pull the mat up next to your sofa, your settee, your couch, whatever you call it in wherever the world you are. So get set up and let's start. Okay, so we're going to start this video in child's pose. So come to a seat, bring your knees wired, your back big toes to touch, and sink the hands forward for me. Wherever you are, relax the neck. Bring the forehead towards the ground. So settling down into this posture, let the hips sink towards the heels. Then making it a little bit active, come high onto the fingertips. Keep pushing the armpits down towards the ground. Think of lengthening through the spine. And take an inhale, slowly look up. Walk the hands towards the right hand side. Lower the head down. Feel in the stretch into the left hand side of the body. Option one, you stay here. Option two, take the palms down, left palm on top of the right, just to intensify that stretch a little bit more. Keep pushing the hips towards the heels. Keep pushing the left shoulder down for two. And one, breathe in. Walk the hands back to center. Take the hands all the way to the left. As you exhale, slowly sink down. Whichever variation you took on the first side, take in now. Taking a few deep breaths. Letting the shoulders open naturally. And inhale, slowly come to center. Good. Breathe in, lift all the way up. Come into a four point kneeling for me. So the knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders. Take an inhale, lift the right arm all the way up. Keep pushing through the left palm. As you exhale, bring this right hand underneath the body, thread the needle through the left arm, bring the right ear towards the ground. Option one, left arm can come in front of you. Option two, take the left arm behind you and keep pulling the shoulder away. Find the one that feels best for you. The stretch where you feel the most, you can come onto the left fingertips if you want. Breathing into this opening. For two, and one, slowly bring the left arm back in towards the face. Breathe in, lift the right arm up high, take that twist, open up through the body, exhale to release. Opposite side, breathe in, lift the left arm up. As you breathe out, bring the left hand through the body, left ear towards the floor. Right arm reaches up or around the back if you did so on the front side. Breathe into this space. Come high into the fingertips if you want it to intensify just a little bit more. Hold for two. And one, slowly slide the right hand back in towards the face. Ground down through the palm, lift up, breathe in. Breathe out to lower. So wherever you are with the knees, keep the hips and knees stacked. You're slowly going to walk the hands forward, melting the heart down to the ground. Notice I'm not coming forward or back with the hips. Hips stay in line, sink the chest towards the ground. Now for some of you, your forehead might come down and this will be enough, especially if your shoulders are not open. For some of us, our um, chest can come down towards the ground. If your chin's down on the ground looking forward, but slowly we want to make this stretch active, so push down through the palms as you inhale round the upper back. Exhale, sink the heart down towards the ground. Two more like this, breathe in. Breathe out. Adding some movement into the shoulders. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower, sink the heart down low, hold it here. 
So here's where you play with the armpits. So act as if you want to hug the armpits together and sink the heart down a little bit further. Hold in here. Tuck in the back toes if you wish to intensify. For three. For two. And one. Slowly release. Coming back up. Sitting on the backs of the thighs. And then slowly just roll out the shoulders. So this is where the blocks come in. If you don't have the blocks, like I said at the beginning, take your nearest sofa or chair, anything that's around this kind of level. So bring the blocks out in front of you. For ladies, you might be able to do it on one block. For men with very big shoulders, bring two blocks. Bring the elbows down onto the blocks. Hands come to the prayer. Take the knees out. Just like we did in the melting heart pose, sink the heart down towards the ground. So the first option is we look towards our palms. Keep pushing the elbows down. Keep squeezing the elbows in towards each other. Breathe. It's going to feel intense. For two. And one, slowly drop the head between the elbows. So here, again, think as if you're pushing your heart towards the ground. Keep the elbows active, hugging in. Keep pushing the shoulders down. Make sure your shoulders are not crunched around the ears. See if you can soften a little bit more. Hold in. For two. And one. Inhale slowly, as slow as you can, come up. Give your arms a little bit more of a shake. Already you're going to feel a lot more lighter in the upper body. So just two more stretches to go. So now come down onto your bellies for me. Bring the arms out wide to a T. So make sure the arms are 90 degrees for me. Palms are flat on the floor. Looking forward, bend the right knee up. Flex the right foot. We're going to roll over onto this left arm. So right hand comes in underneath the right shoulder. Lift the hips up, rolling over onto the left arm. Make sure it's at a 90 degree angle. Bring the heart up towards the sky. Now, if this foot is down, lift the hips up slightly and bump them towards the front. Make sure you settle down. You can bring a block under the head if you want to. And then slowly lift the right arm up. Take the right arm back behind you, option one. Option two, the back of the right hand can come behind the waist. Keep rolling that right shoulder back. Keep lifting through the heart. Holding it here, or if you want more, lifting up the left knee. Bring the left sole of the foot onto the ground. Act as if you want to bring the lower back down. Reach out with the right hand. If you want to go more still, drop the knees over towards the left. Holding into this space. Breathing into the shoulder. Slowing everything down. Two more big deep breaths. And then inhale, slowly come back to center. Rolling out exactly the way that you came in. That left hand's probably a little bit numb. Give the fingers a little bit of a wiggle before we take it onto the opposite side. So extend the right arm, wrist and shoulder in one line. Left hand comes in underneath the shoulder. Bend the left knee. Then slowly roll up and over onto the right shoulder. Good. Whatever variation you did at the first side, take in there. Make sure you bump the hips a little bit forward. Keep lengthening through the chest and keep rolling that left shoulder away from the ears, down the back. Slowly and gradually, maybe the right foot comes down onto the ground. Maybe the right arm extends, maybe the knees drop towards the left. Hold in for two. 
And one inhale, slowly come back up. Shaking the arms up. One last little stretch. So bring the left arm underneath the chin. Option one, we stay with one arm only. Right shoulder comes down across the body. Right hand is flat. Looking forward, keep pushing that right shoulder down towards the ground. Option one, stay here. Option two, right hand, tuck it underneath the left. Look forward here or looking down, whichever way doesn't cut you off from breathing. Slowly release, swapping the hands. Right hand comes across. Left shoulder down towards the mat, looking forward. Pushing the left shoulder down towards the ground if you can. Palms are flat. If you want more, right hand underneath. I've got that wrong. The left hand underneath the right shoulder. slowly come up. So if you're a yogi and you want a shavasana, please be my guest and take it. If not and you want to carry on to, with your day, go ahead and hopefully I'll see you soon.